Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. How many people you get coming in from the wards? Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. My people are wanderers, not military leaders. All this fighting seems strange. It must be more familiar for you, Chief Williams. Uh, trying to take down a rogue specter and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. I've heard some humans are angry at the Quarians after the attack on Eden Prime. After all, you created the Geth. The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. Hopefully, having you with us fighting Saren will change people's minds.
Detective Challinger, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Watch your tone, Chellick. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. It's too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Hey, Tally, I heard a rumor that under those environmental suits, you Quarians are partially synthetic. No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. It still makes you look a little like a Geth, though. I'm just saying. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. 
she will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, Din, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. Do not listen to my bolus, compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places like Cora's Den. The Embassy Lounge isn't bad, but they don't have enough decent entertainment. Not by bureaucrats. They probably spend months just voting on what kind of entertainment to get. <laughs> You're probably right. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the consort's forgiveness. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Um. Thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Here, Commander. 
In light of your efforts with the Elkor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. That looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'll just take the weapons. The hell are you playing at? Here's your money, Jax. Sense of humor, huh? It's gonna get you killed one of these days, Army. Come on, boys. We're done here. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chellic. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard.
Commander. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull! Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. 
He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre, Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Who told you I was a Spectre? I'm a senior officer with the Alliance. I knew about your candidacy before the Normandy was sent to Eden Prime. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll look for them if I have time. Well, that's more than most will commit to. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ship. Maybe you can get some answers.
Good to see you, Commander. Good to see you, Commander. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. You okay, Tally? It looked like you got some dirty looks back there. Many think less of Quarians for traveling in the flotilla and for creating the Geth. They see us as scavengers, little better than thieves. That's sort of what I heard about your people. I guess you're not in any one place long enough for people to get to know you. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren's not gonna get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse, looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, 
and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. He was smart. You needed a diversion. This went way beyond a simple diversion, Commander. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to... I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. The only thing I You're care right, about Commander. is... I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. 
Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past, no reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. None of the other species has the guts, grit, or balls to deal with this. So it's up to us. We're the only ones who can stop Saren. I swear to you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain's not here. I'm in charge now, Joker, and time's wasting. Get this bird in the air. Yes, ma'am.
Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. secured.
Bag him and tag him.
heading to position.
clear. It looks like this cavern formed around the ruin after it was built. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Quit shouting. This place is crawling with geth. Sorry, I am a little... Look, my name is Dr. Liara Tassoni. I am an archaeologist. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. You shouldn't have been messing with technology you don't understand. I wasn't going to let the Geth capture me. Besides, I know how it works, mostly. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier.
How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Wait, Commander. Can we trust her? Her mother's working with Saren. I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Seren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Norm of the Airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. He needs to move faster. Time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <sighs> I like your attitude. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Just how old are you exactly? 
I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Get to the point. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. You're not much of an expert, Doctor. The answer's been standing in front of you the whole time. The Protheans were wiped out by a race of machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. Looks like we wasted our time here. Wait, Commander. Saren might try another attempt on my life. I'd feel safer if you let me stay on your ship. Besides, my knowledge of the Protheans might prove useful later. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Might as well add an Asari to the team. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Don't tell me how to do my job. You are free to act as you see fit, Commander. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you if you're smart enough to listen. Liara's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? We almost died in there. The Geth were everywhere. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. <laughs>